All right, this is a Sloan automatic faucet uh, module. If you're having troubles that it's not working, uh, the first thing you want to check, of course, is the battery pack. Make sure you have new batteries in here. Make sure it's inserted correctly that these tabs here match those tabs there. So you have the connections. If it still doesn't work, it could be a water flow problem. This is the valve. In here, uh, of course, shut off the water. You unscrew this piece, and inside here you have a strainer. And sometimes the strainer gets clogged up. You can try cleaning that. If that still doesn't work, you can take off this whole piece once you disconnect two pipes in and out. There's a screw right here. You take this out, and behind here, I'm tipping it over, that's where the solenoid is, which is this piece right here. It's one whole assembly. In order to take that off, you have to take the retaining ring out, which is over here. Once you take this out, this piece comes out, this cover slides off, and this is your solenoid, and there's the plunger. You could check if that works by using an external battery. That's a six volt. And what you would do is on these leads here, you put the negative onto the positive, and the positive of the battery to the negative and what that will do will activate that plunger and it'll pop out now make sure you don't just make it pop out in open air because it'll just spring you'll lose the spring so put it against something like something soft and try it and you'll see it'll pop out you reverse the wires it'll suck it back in so you know this is good so if that's good the, the strainer is good the batteries are good there's only two other things that it could be the problem and that's your sensor that goes to the faucet which is plugged into the circuit panel circuit board now this you cannot actually test it uh, there's numerous wires on the end uh, it's not just the power it's also other things that the, the board is actually telling it so I would suggest replacing this first if you come to that point and this will cost about 40 bucks. The circuit board, they don't sell it individually. You have to buy the whole module. That's about 240. So start with the cheapest one first. Replace that. If that doesn't work, then you know it's this. Uh, a better idea is if you have another one and you have one that works, take it off of the other one, plug it in, try it and see if it works or not. And vice versa, bring this to the one that works and see if it continues to work. That way you won't have to spend uh, unnecessary uh, money on parts. Uh, the last resort, like I said, it could be the board that's bad. And unfortunately they don't sell just the board, you have to buy the whole thing. So I hope all this uh, information can help you troubleshoot your problem. Uh, it, it's a little bit uh, labor intensive, it's tedious, but you can save a lot of money if you can do this. And it works better if you take it off the sink and work on a desk and try it all out. Thanks for watching.